Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about something called PCOS. I am um, in the recent past seeing a lot of women with PCOS. I, I think I see about one every single day and who have never been diagnosed and didn't even know that that's what they're suffering from. So if you have irregular periods, please keep watching. I'm Dr. Wanjuro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. What is uh, PCOS? PCOS simply stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. And, and what this in a nutshell means is that there is some type of hormonal imbalance that is causing your ovaries to have very, very many little cysts. And um, on an ultrasound, we usually see them as a necklace sign. So we see little, little black spots all over your ovary and too many. And it's, it's caused basically by some hormonal imbalance that occurs. I do want to reassure women that the cysts don't mean anything. I have had a lot of women coming and saying, I have cysts, we have to remove the cysts. And I tell them, we don't have to remove them, they're actually helpful. This is where the little component, the genetic component of your ova is, or that's where the, it is. So we don't have to remove it, we just have to control it. So how, how do you know that you're suffering from from PCOS. How do I know, apart from a scan um, that tells me what are the symptoms, what are the signs that I will see that should make me um, go to a doctor or think that I have PCOS? Uh, the, by large, the most common symptom that we see is irregular menses. And by irregular, I don't mean that the menses comes on the 21st day and then the next time it comes on the 24th day. That's pretty okay. But what I mean by irregular is one, that your periods could miss two or three months. For some people, it can even miss for a year. And you're not on contraception, you're not doing anything different, but the period just decides when to happen. For other people, it skips and when it does come, it floods. Or when it does come, it comes as two or three drops. That's not normal. Every woman is supposed to have a period within 21 to 35 days and it should come at a consistency of, of that 21 to 35 days every single month. So if we are not having periods like that, I'm not saying it's PCOS, but it could be one of the signs of PCOS. The second symptom that you might experience is excessive hair growth. And this happens because the hormones are imbalanced and sometimes you have more androgen, which is the male hormone, than um, the estrogen hormone. And what we see is that some people have a beard, some have a mustache, some have just hair up to the belly button, which is not the natural or normal female um, habit. So if you see this, this could be a sign that you have androgen excess or the male hormone excess, and it could point towards you having PCOS. Um, another thing that you could um, have is you could have acne. And I mean, every, most people have acne, teenagers have acne, so it's not a clear sign, but it is because you have more androgens or more male hormone, you tend to have more acne, so you have a face that has a lot of pimples, and this is one of the signs. Other things that could be associated with PCOS are mood swings, uh, depression, excessive weight gain, um, that is quite irregular. You lose and you gain weight very fast and um, infertility. So patients who have PCOS um, usually have a struggle to conceive. So it's really important that if you do have any of these signs and you're, str and you're trying to conceive, it's important to see a fertility specialist. What causes PCOS? And, and I think that's a question I get every day. Where did it come from? We have really no idea where it comes from. We, we do know that it has a genetic link. So I have had clients who mother, sister, child has uh, PCOS eh? or sisters come and they have PCOS. So it is not uncommon that there's a genetic link, but how it happens, we really don't understand how it's happening. But we do know that there is some genetics to play. So when do you need to see a doctor with these signs? I will say that PCOS will not kill you. It doesn't do much. 
and I think people, most people are okay not to have a period, although I have had people who come and say, I want my period, I don't know why. But yes, most people are okay not to have a period, but if you're having the periods where the bleeding is just excessive and comes like for a month when it hasn't come for three months, there are things that we can do to stop it. If you're having um, the excessive hair growth and you are feeling uncomfortable, I know it's a very uncomfortable thing for women, something can be done about that too. It is a bit expensive and you do need to see a dermatologist, but it can, I mean, there is a solution out there. For the fertility bit, I'd like to say that it is the reason why you're not getting pregnant or the reason why it's hard to get pregnant is because you're not ovulating. And um, ovulation basically means that the egg ruptures and is taken into the tube and then meets the sperm and fertilization occurs. So it's the process where it bursts. So with PCOS, you have anovulatory cycles, which means you don't have ovulation in your cycles. So it's important that if you see any of these signs and you're trying to conceive, please see a fertility specialist. And if you're not trying to conceive, but you have signs that like the heavy bleeding or the spotting or depression or the acne, things can be done. If it's the weight control, still something can be done. So please don't sit in silence if you're having symptoms of PCOS. Come and see a doctor, come and see a fertility specialist if it's especially troubling you in the fertility bit. If uh, you liked the video and um, you think it would be helpful for somebody that you know, please share. If you're experiencing this, the symptoms and you want to reach out to us, please feel free to comment, to email us, to come and see us. We are here for you. And please subscribe. This is Dr. Wanjiro Ndekwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility where we walk with you.